already successful Apple wants to be even bigger. It's got a um, CEO in place who is confident that the company can launch, you know, its most, uh, its biggest um, array of new products ever and be able to um, ramp up production and keep up with demand and handle any production issues um, since this is, supply chain is an area of his um, expertise. Um, and as a result, you know, with interest in Apple um, strong, intent to purchase strong and, you know, the sort of, the, the ability for Apple to sort of bring people in with one product and then get them to buy more and other products. Um, you know, we could see Apple continue to build its, um, generate um, higher and higher revenue levels, uh, reaching up to, you know, almost $250 billion um, next year. Um, and so the issue then becomes when a, when a company becomes that big, it sometimes attracts the attention of regulators. So what's interesting is that um, Apple's strategy could help it um, avoid that because, you know, the company continues to focus on high-end products and, and, and the high-end consumer. Um, so, and that while that's only, you know, a, a portion of the overall mobile market, it is where most of the money is. Um, so that's how it's able to be so successful and generate so much money. But since it's, you know, nobody can sort of argue that there aren't any other alternatives out there that it has a monopoly as a result.